One is with my DIYs and the other one is called every single fandom video I've ever done. But the thing is there are only 7 videos in that playlist so I decided to add to the collection with this video. And also fandom videos are literally the... When I become Chris Traeger. Fandom videos are literally, literally the only thing that brings joy to this miserable life of mine. Also Rob Lau in the 80s. I can make a whole video just talking about young Rob Lau. Um, yeah, anyways, this video is sponsored by Amino. <laughs> I changed like 73 topics within one sentence. I can't even remember how this sentence started. Um, I just want to take a second to talk about Amino because they were kind enough to sponsor this video. I worked with them before and I really wouldn't be working with them again if I truly didn't like their app and didn't recommend it. Amino, if you don't know, is basically a community of people who share the same interests and it's actually perfect for fandoms because all the people who are in a certain fandom can just gather in that one place and there's always something going on there. You can do quizzes, you can do pools, you can actually talk to those people who are in the same Amino as you. And honestly, it's very comforting because you don't feel as insane and psychotic about liking something so much because on Amino you can find people who like the same thing as you as much as you do or even more. Also, the quizzes are very addicting and I don't recommend you doing them if you have something to study because you will not study, speaking from experience. Now, Aminos that I'm in are mostly TV show and fandom related, but what's new? But I also love the language exchange one because you actually get to talk to native speakers and that's the best way to learn any language. But it's just a really cool app on which you can just spend your free time maybe doing quizzes and having fun or you can actually talk to some people who love the same things as you and actually make some new friends. And also on the explore page there's a section with my picks where I just listed my favorite Aminos. So go and check that out and if you want you can follow me on Amino as well. I'll have the link where you can download the app and also my username all listed in the description box below so check that out. And let's start with the video. <clears throat> So I started this DIY by googling marble wallpaper and I found this picture which I'll link down below if you want to use the same one and then I opened that picture in Photoshop. Then I just found this screenshot of some song in Apple Music or whatever that's called. I just need it for the volume options and the play button. So I selected and cut the part that I need and I deleted the song name and put the song name that I want. I put I feel like I'm drowning by two feet. If you haven't heard it, go check that out because it's so good. Like you And once I was done with Photoshop, I printed that out big enough to fit my phone and then I made a template of my phone and traced that onto the picture I just printed out. Then obviously cut out what you just drew. Oh, and I also made another one with Billie Eilish because I couldn't leave her out of this video. Now you'll need a clear case under which you're just going to put the picture you made and that's it. And once you get bored of the song you have on your case, you can just change the paper and have a completely new case. this phone case on the So Aesthetic shop and I decided to make my own version of it. So I screenshotted this Map Boomer fan page on Instagram and I changed the name of the account and the bio to make it like the official Neil Caffrey Instagram, like the actual character has an Instagram. If you didn't watch White Collar, obviously you can do this for any character you want. 
And the quote I put in the bio is an actual quote from the show, so I thought that went well with the whole account. And you can make this way easier by using an account of some celebrity if you don't know how to change all of this in Photoshop or you just can't be bothered to make a fake Instagram for a TV show character. But I just really like the idea of a fictional person having an Instagram and if you're going to put someone's face on your phone case, whose face is better than Matt Boomer's? Nobody's. After I made this, I printed it out and again traced the template on my phone and cut everything out. Lastly, again, I just put the design under a clear phone case. And the reason the phone case looks uneven when it's on my phone is because I have this hand strap thing device which I just use to hold my phone so the phone cases don't sit very well with that on the phone. For this phone case, we're again gonna make it in Photoshop. I found this constellation picture online and all I did was I deleted the names of the constellations using a patch tool and then I wrote sayings from Supernatural instead. And that's it, it's so simple but it looks great in the end. Now I would recommend you to use no more than 3 or 4 words per constellation because it will be too crowded if you use full sentences. Once you finish the whole picture, print it out and cut it out just like all of the previous ones and put it under a clear case. My favorite thing about TV shows are the quotes, so I had to dedicate the whole phone case to my favorite ones. All I did was print out a bunch of my favorite quotes, small enough to fit my phone, and here are some more recommendations if you don't know which quote to use, because I couldn't fit all of them on the case. So you can just put that photo under a clear case and finish there, but since my phone has that holder you saw, I printed out some solid colors to put under the quote photo, just to look nicer. using Photoshop again. I downloaded a photo from Sherlock's intro and using a Sherlock font, which is called Skyfall, like the James Bond movie, <laughs> I just wrote trying my best, a very hashtag inspirational quote, and I wrote that instead of Sherlock, which is obviously what will be written on here, and that's literally it. I also made another one with the logo from The Office and wrote Always Tired and of course cut it out and put it under a clear case just like the rest of them. For this case, my inspiration were these notebooks I made in my fandom school supplies video and basically I'm doing the exact same thing just on a case. So I printed out these drawings of James and Alyssa. So I took some clear tape and taped the pictures just so they're more durable because having just paper on your phone case isn't very smart. And now she's far away, but I had to know. Once I did that, I took this fall letter and traced the design on it, and then I cut it out. Once 
once you get that out, take your phone case, which doesn't have to be clear this time, surprise, surprise, because you're gonna be covering it with fake leather. First glue the picture in the center of the case, and then glue the letter over it, making sure that you didn't glue it over the picture, of course. And the reason why I just didn't glue the picture on the letter, and I made this more difficult, is because this way it has a 3D effect. And once you glue the sides of the case, you are done. So you already know how much I love scum, so of course I had to dedicate a whole case just for it, or Nora to be exact. So I downloaded a bunch of her photos and I cut them into a circle in Photoshop. Now if you're like a Photoshop expert, don't judge me for my ways of doing things on here because I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. And there's probably a better way to cut things into circles on here, but I found this way and I'm sticking with it, so do it however you know. Once I made all the photos, I printed and cut them out and I taped them with some clear tape because I will be putting resin over the photos and I want to first protect the paper so it doesn't turn darker when I pour the resin. So tape the photos and cut them out. Now it will be the best to use a plastic clear case because I think that would look the best on the phone and the plastic case I have looks literally like a transformer so I just went with this case. I first glue the photos on the case with some regular glue. You should use a strong glue for this since we're gluing the photos on top of the case and you don't want them to fall off. Once you glue all of them on, take some resin and mix the two parts following the instructions you got with your resin. You saw me do this a million times, I use resin in all of my DIYs, but I'll say it again, mix slowly to prevent air bubbles from forming. Case, because I think that would look the best on the phone, and the plastic case I have looks literally like a transformer, so I just went with this case. I first glue the photos on the case with some regular glue. You should use a strong glue for this since we're gluing the photos on top of the case and you don't want them to fall off. Once you glue all of them on, take some resin and mix the two parts following the instructions you got with your resin. You saw me do this a million times, I use resin in all of my DIYs, but I'll say it again, mix slowly to prevent air bubbles from forming. 